Hey girl. Hey sweetie. Hula Hala is a five-year-old thoroughbred mare at the UC Davis Center for Equine Health. She's one of many horses used to help teach future veterinarians. Oh, she's very sweet. She's a very special horse. But Hula Hala has become more than a teacher. She's also a model for how scientists and veterinarians can work together on life-changing breakthroughs. It started a year ago when Hula Hala was diagnosed with a severe case of laminitis, an inflammation of the hooves. It's one of the oldest recognized horse diseases. There is about 10 million horses in the United States. Uh, so about 15% of them will develop laminitis. I got a call very late at night. Alonso said the vets are here to put a horse down. If ever there were a horse, we should use your drug on. This is it. Can you get it to us? So UC Davis entomologist Bruce Hammock, that's right, he's an insect expert, rushed over with a compound that his team has been working on for more than a decade. Originally, it was studied as a way to control pests. Then they found it could help treat inflammation. It was tested on mice, then mammals, but nothing as large as a horse. So that day she stood up on her own and she spent most of the day standing up, uh, looking outside the stall. Um, it was visibly painful still, but the fact that she went from laying down most of the time to standing up most of the time, that was a huge thing uh, for us. And so that was uh, sort of like the first sign that she was responding. Uh, to the treatment. Five days later, Hula Hala was nearly normal, and today there's hope that this compound will eventually mean an end to a painful disease, one that results in euthanasia for two-thirds of the horses who are diagnosed with it. Meanwhile, researchers say it also has the potential to someday help humans. Kristen Samos for UC Davis.